subscribe to Breadmaker YouTube now. Huh? Huh? Hello everyone, Breadmaker here and welcome back to another episode. I didn't think this episode would exist, but we had so much gold left over. Might as well just spend it all on really dumb stuff. And I really did try my best here. We had like 4,000 gold-ish and I really tried my best to buy the most obnoxious stuff I could possibly find. Um, I'll walk you through the gear in just a second, but as you can see, like it's... It, I. I even tried spending it to the point where like sometimes there would be something that was like an incremental upgrade, like a tiny upgrade, and I'd spend like 400 gold buying that as well. So um, here is what we were able to secure. We have a brand new spell book. This one is almost the same as the last one, except it has one more magical damage, some action speed, and three additional strength for some HP. I got the only wizard hat I could find in almost an hour, by the way. I was looking for all this stuff. Um, the only wizard hat I could find that had uh, two magical damage on it. Uh, then for the necklace, I got three movement speed, one magical damage, and three knowledge. Uh, I got one damage on the gloves. It was hard to find anything better than that. Um, uh, the rings are both two will. Uh, this one has one damage. This one has two damage on it. The leggings are pretty nice. We've got two magical damage on them. Uh, the boots are okay. It's plus one all attributes and plus two magical power. Uh, but also some movement speed, which is why I went for it. And it has 11 base movement speed. So I didn't really run a lot of movement speed on anything else or any agility. So I figured the light foot boots, they, their movement speed scales based on their rarity. So purple light foot boots already giving 11 movement speed plus the 1% bonus. The two magical power isn't the best, but we're just going to take it. Uh, and then this cloak is nice, three will and plus one all attributes. And then finally, the vestments, uh, we get uh, physical power, which doesn't really matter, but we just got one magical damage on it. And I waited a long time to find something uh, that was that or better. Um, I bought like more potions than we're probably ever going to need and a potion of luck as well. And we're just running with the same crystal sword because I probably won't even pull this out. Um, the only really way to like you 100% don't need, even need like half of this, less than half of this. But um, I just want to spend all our gold and this video will probably just end when we die. So hopefully uh, we do end up dying pretty quickly. And uh, all right. Wow. Thank you, sir. That's very nice of you. All right. Well, we also just got a magical stuff. I sort of want to see what damage we're doing over here per magic missile. I don't even know what the regular one is. Uh, 38 to the head each hit. I don't know if that's good or not. I can't really remember. Oh, uh, what about our zap? 54 damage zap. I'm pretty sure that's good. This guy's name is Wizard Executioner. This is going to be a fun lobby. There's so many rogues. I'm calling it right now. We've spent like, this is, this is over like almost, we started with like a pretty good set and then we spent 3k upgrading it. So this is like more than a 4k set. I guarantee you. Uh, between all the rogues and rangers in here, we are going to just die. Which... <laughs> yeah, we're, we're definitely going to die to one of these guys like within the first three minutes of this game, I guarantee it. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and I will just straight up cut the video to an end uh, as soon as we die. And I'll... Um, It'll mark the end of our series that we have been doing for, I think this is like the 15th episode or 16th, one of the two. Um, but yeah, let's hop into the first game. All right, we actually got a pretty decent spawn. Nobody ever really pushes you here. I don't even know why I'm looting. Um, I wonder how fast we can kill this spider. Wow, that feels nuts. Here are the stats, by the way. I don't think I show the stats and stuff. Not a lot of it shows up because this additional magic damage, which I went for on almost every piece, doesn't actually impact anything that you see here. Um, so it's not going to look any different. And I do have a luck potion, so why not drink it, I guess? Um, oh, man. I always want to fireball these spiders. Oh, that felt good. I think no matter what, we should be able to kill anyone with a single fireball plus a uh, zap. Oh, we actually didn't even kill the... Uh... All right, we're gonna die to this fire right here. We actually didn't even kill the spawner.
There goes our first of many health potions. Um, I also brought some invis potions in here just to help us uh, drop aggro in case we need to. All right. I wonder if the luck potion is going to be anything notable. How much luck do we get? We're sitting at 100 luck, I think. I think there's like a... a a roll amount that you get when you drink the luck potion, if I'm not mistaken, and it controls how much luck. Uh, it's like a, a lucky amount, I think 100 to get. So we're probably sitting pretty lucky right now. This guy's magic stack in our inventory. Three magical power, pretty bad. Well, I didn't feel lucky. Some clarities. And Pretty much, if we go through this room, we'll have to go towards the left. There's going to be two of those uh, zombies there that we have to kill. And then we are put right in the center of the map, which is, regardless of how geared you are, a very easy place to die in. So I'm not exactly trying to rush over there. Probably just quickly meditate again. All right, we are in the zone, but we have so many potions that we can probably just sit in here all game if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and clear this zombie over here. Pretty bad place to be for these clouds and the way that the circle ended up, to be honest. All right. The circle is really forcing us in a terrible position here, uh, forcing us to pretty much like clear really quickly and go right across the map. Um, usually as a wizard, when you're in a lobby full of little rogues and uh, Rangers, this is probably a death sentence. We did see a blue shimmer. We know that somebody with a torch is somewhere over here. Um, and this is a very uncomfortable situation for us to be in here. We have to traverse across here. We know that there are, is a rogue at least somewhere nearby. We heard him pull out his dagger, most likely above us. This guy lost the aggro, so I wonder if... There's definitely a rogue somewhere around here. Alright. Oh man, that guy sounds pretty friendly. But I'm not here to make friends. It's gonna be a bit hard to uh, get up there. I do want to go on this side. All right. Man, this guy's just naked. I don't even know if I want to kill him. <laughs> we do hear someone else somewhere there. I think this guy's pretty friendly. We don't have to worry about him. Guy right above us. Oh, that guy almost dropped us with a default dagger, dude. That was scary. I'm pretty sure that guy's just running a default dagger. Yep. I mean, I probably shouldn't have come down here looking for him, but... Um, I'm gonna overheal a bit. Pop a new one, that way we can run through here. One thing I probably should have invested in was more clarity, to be honest. Maybe I'll see if I can get a quick meditate in here. Mm 
Nice. Okay. We are fully healed up. Pop my haste and let's run through. This is pretty sketchy. Lights are out. Oh. I am going to drink protection potion. Someone porch is sort of shining through here. Probably gonna protection potion and just uh, run in here. Oh, what did I? Is this guy again? God damn it! <laughs> I sort of want to kill this guy. He's so annoying, and he keeps baiting me, making me think someone else is here. I'm gonna meditate. so funny <laughs> oh man i mean there's gonna be more portal spawning we don't need to jump down there he does the same default goodbye every single time it's sort of funny the circle's not even in that area probably in another portal that's gonna spawn over here we can just take um. watch out bro Am I even hitting this guy? I don't think so. Um, do I want to waste my spells saving this guy? No! God damn it. That's like the worst case scenario. We miss. We missed this. Oh no, I hope he didn't die. Nice, <laughs> he's still there. Oh my god. Okay, the portal's gonna spawn in here, so we should at least clear this room out. We're out of magic missiles. Oh, this is so scuffed, dude. Holy shit. Oh, he's a barbarian? What the hell? Oh, that was a close one. By the gods, you have an arrow in your head. Are you alright? Oh, man. I don't want that guy to aggro me. Alright, this guy's dipping. He's gonna let me have the portal, seems. I'm gonna close this just in case. And, well, that was a. <laughs> that was a that was a game. Morbo the Annihilator. Oh no, I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh my goodness, this guy's sick. Oh, wow. All right, on to the next game. All right, we're back in another game. We actually got a pretty nice spawn here. Um, in the pre-game lobby, I saw like. Four Four rangers. It was insane. We are definitely ending the series on this one. I just got a purple bandage. I forgot to bring a log potion, by the way. It definitely did not pay for itself, but we also weren't really looting that heavily, so uh, I don't know what I expected. And I also went out. I got a bunch more protection potions and a ton of clarities. Uh, so maybe saving a bit of money left over was worth it because we can burn it all on uh, potions that somebody else will probably end up drinking. But yeah, dude, we are definitely going to die in this one, hopefully. There is just so many, uh, so many ranges. Did I see two magic damage on these? Very nice. I don't know why I'm taking it, but... Usually, so this game was full. Usually, if we want to uh, mess with someone early, we can go through those doors. Um, because sometimes people do clear towards the south if they spawn on the top right. We hear someone behind us. 
but they are underneath, sort of like where we were clearing before with those uh, mummies, those zombies, sorry. Um, and there's no way of getting there from here. So uh, we could attempt to harass the person that is over here. Although from the sound of the mobs behind the door, sounds like they didn't actually uh, clear towards us. All right. Usually if you have a blue spell book, it takes all 10 magic missiles to kill this. It only took seven. Um, pretty good. With all, all this gear, we get those three extra magic missiles back. Oh, there he is. It's a ranger. Whoa, before we go ham, let's protection potion over here. Oh my god. Our, our hand hit the thing. All right, so we definitely want to close the gap of it. He's going to try and fireball. Get out. Let's see if we can hit him with a fireball. Where is he? Where'd he go? I don't know where that guy went. Bola guy. Our true enemy. All right. This room is like ranger heaven. I like don't even want to really step foot in here. I'm going to take the supplies off of this body that happened to spawn here. Nothing else good for us. And I'm closing this door. Never mind. I killed the door. And we're going to meditate. All right. We have our spells back. And the zone is here. Man, this is my worst nightmare. Being at the bottom floor of this room, having to go to the other side. Uh, with four rangers in the game. Scare the shit out of me. Um, this looks like somebody did spawn here and they just went through here. I don't like this room as we established in the last game, so I'm going to just circumvent it by going this way. I'm like so paranoid, you have no idea. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to open this door without killing this guy. None of this has been cleared yet, it sounds like. Oh. I thought I saw something over there, but it was just a bat. So someone normally does spawn right over here. Okay, that centipede's not supposed to be here. Ooh, raw high gloves. Actually, I don't know why we're playing like we, we're still trying to go zero to hero here. We're, we're, we've achieved hero. Whether we will die a hero or kill our friends long enough to be a villain, only time can tell. I don't know why that centipede was out, to be honest. Oh my god, the webs make you super slow. Hey, yo. All right, the fact that he didn't supersonic us or whatever, and he um, just did his dash attack means he supersonic someone not too long ago. And the fact that there was a centipede up here, I'd be willing to bet there's just a dead body sitting somewhere there. I would like to meditate. We only have one magic missile left. We're going to go night night here. All right. Let us start going in the direction. I'm going to quickly kill this guy. Take our trusty sword out to miss all these spiders with. Come on. Is this alive or dead? I can't tell. Okay, that's alive. I sort of want to fireball it so that it hits all the spiders around it as well. Hey, yo, hey, yo, where did these guys all come from? How fitting if we were to die to all this stuff here. All right, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go invis and I'm going to fall. All right, we're going to try that again. I'm going to go invis. We're going to open this door and just close on everything and hope no one's on the other side here. All right, we did. God damn it. Uh, we did see someone over here. 
Go on the other side of this door. Oh, okay. There's two bards just beside each other. It's chilling. Oh my god. 